lesson on, on funk groove, something a bit slightly different from what I usually do. Uh, and uh, it's more about recording and creating guitar parts that are within a band setting. And I want to show how a lot of time I see a lot of guitarists do funk parts that have massive chords, like, you know, when you play chords for songs, like to come for yourself, strumming. And, um, uh, or even like really big minor seven chords, which sometimes they work. I mean, if you play long term running or stuff like that, it could, uh, it could work. But uh, I think f uh, for, you know, if you listen to the more, you know, the, the 70s um, guitar parts, you know, the famous 70s uh, funk parts, they're very, very simple. They are, uh, you know, created of like double stops, or like single lines or uh, or just like very, very small chords, like a triad. So I'm just playing you know, D, D triad, or, or just very, 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 you know, simple single line. So uh, I'm going to try and, and um, come up with some single line ideas or double stops. Remember the double stops, I mean it's very very simple, you know, try and get an interval and try and break up, break up the chord that you're using. Let's say, if, let's just make an example, let's say that the chord of the moment is D minor, let's just um, try and break up that D minor or D minor 7. top part of the chord um, and, and try to create a you know funk sounding guitar part um, it was, um, I think Paul uh, Jackson Jr. is a master doing that this and it will you know kind of slide in and out of you know so I've just you know just found the fourth inside that inside that chord and that scale and created a, a, a guitar part. Uh, another uh, good uh, tip I think is to always try and lip space for the snare. Uh, if you listen to all the examples, uh, examples I made at the beginning, uh, you can always hear the snare uh, of drums um, uh, very clearly. And I think that's a, that's a good uh, good way of, unless you're, you know, you're dumbling the snare with a kind of like a Motown type, well, that Motown style uh, guitar riff. Uh, it's a good a good idea to uh, to let that resonate, so leave some space for, for the drums and the snare. I'll just make some examples. Just listen to the snare. Three, four. Of course the snare is on two and four. see how you can always hear the snare and uh, and it's kind of like trying to find a, uh, a kind of like it's like a puzzle you know what I mean trying to find that that gap that uh, and that, you know playing playing in the in the gaps so to speak where there are important things and just listen to the bass and listen to the snare and, and just try and create a lot of this um, these riffs there's another thing that kind of works uh, almost all the times and is this this fourth smoke of an R&B type thing 
So you try and, and try and create, if you, you know, if you see the shape of the pentatonic, in this case, it's, you know, the example was an A minor, but try and, you know, and visualize that pentatonic, uh, pentatonic. This is the pentatonic, there, there are loads of intervals in there, there are fourths. some thirds in there so try and try and create this kind of sliding fourth um, things that are quite good for for you know all the funk stuff R&B and pop especially if you put some chorus in it um, you, you recognize the sound right so right, let me just put um, uh, get some examples So that was another example, slightly busier, obviously. Uh, it's good when you want to kind of uh, create a bit of more of a, of a feel. Uh, and um, uh, well, that's it. Hope this uh, was a good lesson, and uh, you've, you've uh, you have some more food for thought.